Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, a few days ago, I did a video covering WorldCoin. Now, in case you don't know what WorldCoin is, WorldCoin was founded by Sam Altman of OpenAI. He's pushing hard a global proof of personhood digital ID that is tied to crypto that is being adopted by millions of people. It's called World ID and you receive it from a device called the Orb. Here's a little visual so you guys can see of what this thing looks like. Uh, but again, what they do is they scan your irises using the Orb and you get your World Digital ID. Right now, World ID users are located in 120. You heard that correct? This is going on in 120 different countries right now. And their tagline reads, for every human, World ID. Sam Altman said the goal is to scan every single human's irises using the orb so that every human on the planet has a world digital ID. Well, since I covered the, this video a few days ago, this thing has taken off. Millions from all over the world are flocking to this orb to get their irises scanned. And you are seeing long lines in different countries of people lining up to get their world ID. In fact, let me give you a little view of what some of these lines look like. <laughs> on social media, you can find all sorts of videos of people, again, this is going on in 120 different countries right now. You're seeing lines like this of people lining up to get their irises scanned from this device called the Orb so that they can receive their world digital ID. It's all getting set up right now, folks. What's getting set up? Well, we know, according to the pages of End Times Bible Prophecy, specifically in Revelation chapter 13, there is going to be a system in place after the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. So the rapture of the church will occur. The Antichrist will then be revealed after the rapture. When the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, that will start the tribulation period that will last for seven years during this coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, there will be a system in place, according to Revelation chapter 13, that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. It will be a system that will be able to control all buying and selling. So it has to be a digital system that's going to be able to link everybody on the world, every single human, to this system. So what we see happening right now, especially with this world coin using the orb to scan people's irises so that they can receive their world digital ID. And again, this is happening now in 120 different countries. Millions are flocking to this thing. And this is absolutely huge because we see the stage getting set up for the coming tribulation period. This beast system is casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. And if we know the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the Antichrist is even revealed and before this tribulation period begins, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says and you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved 
right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised and make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.